I took three flights to come here, one for six hours, then one for 12 hours, and then for seven hours. It's been my third international conference this year. In previous times, I was in Egypt and Taiwan. Just the idea of coming here, touching the, um, the airport and landing here was, was amazing. Uh, I feel like every year when people get elected to the position and there's this one thing everyone, it's like a milestone in everyone's Isaac journey, career, because the, ho the whole world comes together. best put together global village I've seen from the three from the three conferences. And what I liked it was like basically we had the space so small they were basically sitting elbow to elbow to the next to the next delegation. But that made it a, a flow of countries. We were set by regions and of course by, by alphabetical order. So compared to other global villages, it's not like okay this is the stand of Poland, Russia, Romania, blah blah blah. It's basically like the it's one entire flow. So you go through them, and if, for example, if you if you went past past them, you would see basically how the world kind of is similar to a point, but it gets something different, and it's similar. And that was amazing, and the activities, the people, the energy they brought, the, just by the fact they had a small space to represent your country, like you want you wanted to just put it out there, and I think that increased the energy of the people, and that, that for me was beautiful. Every single IC was a unique experience. Every single IC offers you um, a dream. Uh, it offers you the opportunity to uh, uh, write a part of your of your ISIC story and write a part of also your personal story uh, as an individual. So being to three ICs, every single one of them comes with a certain set of emotions, certain set of dreams and ambitions that you go back home with that are completely different. Uh, it doesn't really matter what your role is uh, in the organization. It's all about how you, as an individual, carry yourself through that conference and interact with people. Because at the end of the day, yes, like uh, there are people delivering to you sessions, there are learnings that are being delivered. But the way you carry yourself through the conference, the people you talk to, the kind of engagement that you have as a person is at the end of the day what defines how you experience through these this journey of 10 days. Is. We started after World War II. And now, last time, guys, do you think one person can change the world? This is my third IC. I still try to keep the sense of humbleness, understand that this is a magical place for 800 people representing the most of the nations in the world. And, um, I don't know, like the conversations that happen here, way beyond the organization, but just the place of being with 799 people around me from a completely different perspective is extremely beautiful. And then you add the Isaac energy, and you add the Isaac culture to it. Like for me, I would go to every IC possible in one way or another. If you look around, look around now. Most probably at the square feet around you, you have people from three, five, ten different cultures. This is the uniqueness of Isaac. Uh, partners who come to an Isaac conference typically know what Isaac is, but um, when they come here and they not only experience the energy um, and enthusiasm of Isaacers, but they also clearly understand the mission of the organization. And I think that is the crucial part that really uh, clicks or really triggers a conversation with a partner. From an ISECR's angle, you get to learn a lot of how uh, companies work globally, of how senior uh, leaders 
uh, around the world think and approach problems and i think these are sort of key conversations that uh, that continue to inspire not only partners but also delegates at the conference it is the example of how non formal education can shape young people and their thoughts so it is not only it is not only um, formal education the one that is making a difference non formal education can do it as well and in two days no it was less it was one day and a half we proved how you can learn more out of these speakers coming here to to talk to us you can learn more from ed than from a semester in university I'll be very abstract when I say to be honest because that's these are the first things that came to my mind for me indianness is color indianness is is a very beautiful texture that is very diverse indianness is warm indianness is chaotic yet beautiful in the same time indianness is loud indianness is family for me indianness makes you feel home for me indianness is something that i can connect to as an egyptian very easily there's one thing with indianness that it is not something it is it is something that you can experience through your senses through the smells through through the taste with the with the food through your listening to uh, this type of music and everything you know and the in the contact with different people so this is how i relate to indianness it is not only a brand it is it is something that you can experience through your senses every single second i think there was a lot of like because it's specifically it's 2015 there was a lot of hype about it So in that sense you know then when you apply and you get the position of president that's on the road map like that's on the timeline. When I joined Isaac I didn't really understand the whole hype of Isaac 2015 and what those, what those goals mean because I was a member in a local level it was really really hard to connect to something that um broad and that generic. Um so only with time and I got to understand the organization and why we do what we do I was able to build this connection and to see the bigger picture and what Isaac in context of the world can actually do and how we can change our environment. Welcome to Isaac 2020. Isaac 2020 starts here. I think the biggest metaphor although I'm not I'm not the right person to say this but I think the biggest metaphor for this was like giving birth because it was a, a 30 hour in 2 days process which is like I don't know, like 5 hours just basically the minimum requirement that like gives you the opportunity to like just sit there and dream where do you want it to be how do you see Isaac how is it going to look like imagine Isaac in 5 years imagine even the world in 5 years how is it going to look like the way it was 2020 process was what how much can we question about the nature of the organization and the nature nature we're doing things to become i second 2020 and that came came down to a core concept okay what does not need to change and from that anything can change and i think that was again in, in the time frame of 30 hours it was a very mind mind stretching experience we are demonstrating why isec is one of the most democratic workplaces in the world when you gather 80 800 people to decide on the strategic direction and ambition for the next 5 years and at the end we came up with this beautiful and simple which is the thing that I like the most um ambition I want to say that I'm proudly here to tell you that you're no longer part of an NGO that you're no longer part of an organization that you are part of a global youth movement We were literally sitting there and when we saw the statements um there was this wave of pride, excitement, also fear um going through um my mind I guess. To be honest like when I look at Isaac in 5 years uh after these kind of ambitions that we have at this point in time I I imagine an Isaac that our generation at this point in time cannot imagine and that's the beauty of it. These people that is here at IC that were here at IC they made it to the congress out of 100,000 members. We have 100,000 members and only 
800 made it to the conference. That means that the, every single delegate has a strong leadership uh, career. Experiencing an IC is also a lot about an internal, internal journey you're taking. It's also about like how much you're reflecting upon yourself because all of a sudden you're put into a context of like you're being contrasted with so many cultures, so many behaviors, so many ideas that you cannot not reflect upon yourself. Yeah, I think I think conferences are going to change in the future. Um, I think ISECers will they want to come together every year. Um, they wanna they wanna share ideas. They wanna share thoughts. They just wanna enjoy each other's company. You know, like it's not going to be a conference anymore. It's going to be like a huge festival where everyone can come together. If the world in 20 years is going to be led by the people here. It is going to be different. It is going to be better. And I want to thank again Isaac for gathering all these people together year by year. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Magda Severshenko, and I have great privilege and honor to stand here as the next Congress Committee President of ISEC International Congress. I would go even beyond what happened here and beyond imagination of delegates. And I think one thing that IC 2016 will contribute to development of international congresses in general will be impact for hosting entity. So for the average citizens of the city that is hosting IC or yeah, just as a nation. Because I believe that IC should also impact the hosting entity. So hopefully we'll manage to impact as many polls as possible, making IC as open as possible. They can meet ISECers, they can meet our values and they can learn from us, but also other way around. So ISECers can learn something from the people that are living in a particular country. So this is my dream and hope for the next year. <laughs>